Okay, so it's time to set up our Zoller M98, and you can take a look. This is the box that it comes in. You can see American made. This is made in Louisville, Kentucky. Inside the box, you got the pump, and you also have your warranty card. Keep this. I always say keep the box because it's got some nice instructions on it as well, but it's up to you. So, so what do you need to set up a Zoller M98? It's really simple. You're going to need a hacksaw. You need a cordless drill with a 5 16 inch nut driver. You need some good glue. By the way, this is all in one. Uh, means it's got the primer and the glue built in. You're going to need an inch and a half threaded male adapter, which will screw directly into the port on the side of the pump. You can't miss it. It's right there. You put this in hand tight. Just as tight as you can make it with your hand. Next, you need a piece of inch and a half PVC. And this is, we call this a riser. This riser is just going to send this up a little higher than this protection bar. We want to make sure that we get above that protection bar. And then we're going to put on a check valve. A check valve only allows water to flow one direction. And it's held together with no hubs with stainless steel clamps. Works really good. This thing will last a lifetime. This sets on the top and you'll screw all this together. I want to show you how. So you need a little riser. Cut a small piece of inch and a half PVC. This is going to, this is going to go from the male adapter that you just screwed into the pump to just above the float protection bar. Can you hear that float? And then from that You'll put your check valve on. Check valves always have a marking to show you which way the water flows. This is to prevent water from coming back down the line and it's held together with the no hubs. That'll set on the top. We'll tighten that up. Finally, you need to drill a pressure relief. That's recommended now on all pumps. Although Zoller does have a little port to let water out, they still recommend that you put this pressure relief right here, 3 16 inch hole. So we've already cut our pipe. Let's go ahead and Put some glue on, a good amount of glue, both, try to do both pieces, in other words, do the pipe and the fitting. Push it down in, give it a little twist, and hold it in place just for a second. Perfect. Next, loosen up, loosen up the proper, <laughs> loosen up the proper no hub clamp. Remember that there's markings on your check valve. You'll know which one I'm talking about because there's usually arrows telling you direction of water flow. That slides onto the riser. Pull your no hub clamp back down. Oops. There's usually a slot that that sits in. You can't miss it. 5 16 inch nut driver and tighten this up just as tight as you can make it. Perfect. Believe it or not, that's it. This pump is ready to be installed down into the sump basin. From the sump basin, I'll kind of show you what it looks like. There's going to be another riser that comes off the top and then it will turn with a 90. And this is going to come out the side of the basin because we are all underground. You will not see anything here except the lid of the sump basin. But that's it guys, that's that quick. And this pump, wow, I, I love it. You know, there's lots of good pumps on the market, but this Zoller is a cast iron, it's very heavy, um, but the cast iron dissipates the heat so it can run for hours, days, months, um, and never burn out. So I really recommend the Zoller if you're gonna get one. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.